What up, Freedom fans? Jonathan and Eric here with you today, and we are gonna to talk to you guys all about snorkels. Breathe through them. We've got a bunch of snorkels out here in front of us, a uh, bunch of different variations, uh, different colors and sizes. They've got some different features and benefits to them. Uh, and there's also a ton of other snorkels out there on the market. But these are some of the ones that we like, that we carry in the shop. And there's some pretty interesting things that we want to go through and talk on each of them to show you guys what's up. So let me ask you this. Probably the number one question we get asked in the shop by customers. Okay. What's the best snorkel? Mm, great question. <laughs> so. Um, and the reality is very similar to our mask video, right? There is not really so such thing as the best snorkel. It's really a ma matter of what you're doing and kind of where you're at in your free diving capabilities, right? If you have never done this before, you might want something on this side. If you are really big into it and you're doing some deep dives, then you might choose something different. And to simplify it even more, honestly, there's a lot of them are really similar there's yeah, some absolutely. you know definitely like nitpicky things that you can get into on them for sure um, and it comes down to which one what features you like the best yeah and what color do you like what matches that's honestly suit? the most important thing <laughs> absolutely <laughs> all right so uh, which where do you want to start you want to start on the left side or the right side yeah I guess we can start by by showing the two main different types of snorkels that mm, we carry there is call. maybe another category of like dry snorkel but we're yeah, not gonna but that's not really the those. free dive world right no not really um, so we'll start with let's say the the purge valve mm -hmm. snorkels yeah um, so we have two of them here we have the rife stable and the scuba max air supply um, now what sets these snorkels apart from the rest of these guys over here is that in the bottom there's actually a purge valve so this is a one-way valve this one's a silicone valve this one's also a silicone <laughs> valve um, but what that allows the snorkel to do is kind of let water flow out the bottom of the snorkel instead of forcing it all out the top like you would have to do with a, a J-tube like these guys. A lot of that water comes out the bottom makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, and then they also have these corrugated tubes, right? Mm, so point. as they're on the uh, side of your head, they have like a little bit of flex to them. Uh, <laughs> you can twirl them around like that as well. Um, but so they're, they're kind of nice um, in the fact that they're comfortable. They don't have this like kind of rigidity as much as the other ones do. So definitely something to make them a little bit more comfortable on uh, your mask. Cool. Now, talking about the J-tubes, right? By far uh, the more popular option for the free divers and the free divers uh, world. Uh, there's a couple different options up here and there's a thousand to choose from out and about, right? Um, some things that I like to look for first, right off the bat when I'm picking uh, my snorkel, is I wanna look at the mouthpiece, right? I wanna see, is this thing soft, is it comfortable, or is it super rigid and hard, right? Uh, used to be back in the day, they would make uh, like PVC mouthpieces, uh, nice. not like hard PVC, like the tubing, but like soft PVC. Yeah. And it would like just eat away at the inside of your mouth. Uh, even, whereas now they're super soft silicone and they're way better. There's even different grades of silicone too. True. Right. So a lot of the low end, you know, the cheaper stuff, the cheap stuff that you buy in a set from Walmart. box stores. Yep. Um, you can tell the difference. Absolutely. I mean, this silicone on like this Mario snorkel, versus that, that stuff's like a rock, it's insane. Yeah, very, very big difference. And very then also you start looking at the mouthpieces themselves and like this Cressy, for example, right? Super, uh, very simple as far as the mouthpiece is concerned. And then you look at this Mara's uh, snorkel, which is one of our favorites. It was actually designed by an orthodontist to uh, fit perfectly and well in your mouth. So I actually really enjoy that one uh, a lot. Um, as, main differences, go ahead. As do I. As do you. <laughs> Probably um, one of my favorite mouthpieces. Nice. And then, uh, so you can look at the tube themselves, right? Some of them have like a big curve to them. Some have a small curve and then it's straight tube. Some are flexible. Yep, some are super flexible and some are, are a lot more rigid. Um, it really just depends on your preference, right? When you have a softer snorkel, it's nicer if you're gonna be doing any kind of like 
sticking your head in holes and stuff like that so that it, the snorkel folds out of your way. But if you're like towing back behind the boat in the Keys of the Bahamas, that super soft snorkel is kind of annoying sometimes. Folds over and lets water in. Yeah. A um, couple other things too. So getting into how you actually affix that snorkel to your mask. Most snorkels come with a clip on them, mm -hmm. usually a plastic clip. Um, for this hammerhead or apnea has the, the silicone one on here, but most of them have these hard plastic clips which work good. Sometimes they can be a little bit uncomfortable, but they usually all end up breaking at the end, end of the day. I throw mine away from the get-go and go with one of these. Yeah, so these are going to be the silicone um, snorkel keepers. You basically wrap it, put it on the snorkel, around the strap of your mask, and then back on the snorkel again. So your mask strap is going through there just like that. They work a lot better, they're yeah. way more comfortable. Absolutely. You can change the position to anywhere you want. Um, like a lot of these kind of ones that are actually like set to certain positions. You can only go within a certain area. You can do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, with the keepers. And then also if you uh, have longer hair or a lot of our ladies out there, the, uh, the silicone actually tugs and pulls on your hair. So they actually make a neoprene one as well. So this is super soft. It does the exact same thing to where you pop this guy over and then uh, do it the same way as the rubber keepers, silicone keepers, but there's no tugging or pulling on your hair, which is super nice. These make a huge difference. Yeah, they do. Yeah, you've got long hair. you got those, those long locks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the last thing I want to tell you guys uh, is a huge, huge misconception. We get a lot of customers that will come in the store. Uh, I wouldn't say a lot, but a few, and they say, my snorkel is broken, it leaks. And unfortunately, with a snorkel like this, for them, there's not really many places this thing can leak, right? So what's happening is, is that when they put their snorkel on, they did this very common thing where they put it on the side of their head, right? And so when it's in your mouth, and it's on the side of your head, and you look down, right, you can see the snorkel is in the water. Right? That is very difficult to breathe and that makes me think that my snorkel is leaking. Well, it's not leaking, it's just in the wrong position. So what I like to do is I like to move this keeper high up on the snorkel and then I push it back to like almost behind my ear, right? So you can kind of see that there. And so now when I put this guy in my mouth and I look down, you can see that snorkel tip is way up above the water, which makes a huge difference in your breathability. You can always go to our website, flfreedivers.com, and go check these guys out. Uh, we're gonna give you guys a coupon for staying to the end of the video, and uh, that coupon code was, I just forgot it already. Breathability. Breathability is <laughs> the way that it's uh, gonna be our coupon code, and you guys get some discounts on some cool snorkel swag. And let us know what features are more important to you. Is it the mouthpiece, the flexibility, or the color. Or the color, absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time. See ya. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more, check out these videos right here, and especially this one. It's my favorite.